543 on a Tuesday advocating for thousands of Arizona students every single year. That's what the group Jobs for Arizona Graduates is doing. We introduced you to them on Monday here on ABC 15 Mornings and we followed up. Turns out the group's mission very personal for the CEO who knows all too well what it's like to have to fend for yourself. And now she's standing for what's right and trying to change that for young adults in our state. We really try to make these students understand how important they are, not just to us, but to themselves, to their communities. Seeing themselves like they never have before. That's what the nonprofit Jobs for Arizona Graduates is helping thousands of students in our state do. And you have those students that know that we're there to really make sure that they succeed. Magic happens. As the group's president and CEO, Marjorie DeRubis sees that magic firsthand and the impact the group is having. When you see one person in your family succeed, all of a sudden everyone starts realizing, I can do that. For Marjorie, JAG provides both a professional path and a personal mission. Because I've been that kid, you know, that really could have used that extra help. Growing up in the Bronx, Marjorie was raised by parents who had immigrated from Haiti. When she started kindergarten, she says she often felt out of place. I, I struggled so much throughout school and my parents were so wonderful and they were so well-meaning and they were doing everything they could to help me, working two jobs each, putting me in good schools, but I really didn't have that support or guidance. And those are exactly the kinds of students that JAG aims to help. Districts select students who need extra support, leaping over life's hurdles. From there, JAG works alongside a number of partners in the community to help students build an action plan for success. Again, it's really transformative, which is just remarkable. Like for you, you get a front row seat to that. So mm -hmm. what is that like for you to see it? A lot of tears sometimes. And then they'll be in JAG and suddenly it transforms who they are and gives them such pride in themselves and makes them understand their role in the world and that how they can contribute. Do you see some of yourself in these students? Oh, I do. And actually, sometimes I look at these students and I know what they've overcome and I can't believe that they're here. You know, they're survivors. They're resilient. They want to succeed. Nothing's going to stop them because they come from things that I honestly don't know how I would have dealt with it. This school year, more than 2,000 Arizona students are enrolled in JAG. Since JAG started in our state back in 1991, more than 40,000 students have taken part, but they can't do it alone. What can we do to help your students? That's a great question. We have a waiting list of schools that want JAG in their schools, but we, have, we don't have the funding to do it. So once we get the funding, we can start the programs. And I know once we start those programs, we're going to see things changing in Arizona very quickly. Oh, and Mar that. Marjorie, such a champion for these students. Okay, so we're diving deeper. How exactly does JAG work? Students take JAG as an elective course. They get credit for it. There's no after school or weekend commitments here. Now from there, students are exposed to a very diverse curriculum, everything from learning about colleges or career opportunities right after high school or maybe job interviewing skills. Think of it as adulting 101. It's a good way to put it in a lot of ways. For more information on the program and to see if your district offers it, head to the main page of abc15.com. But just, Iris, I love seeing these people invest in these students and really be heroes for them. Right, because it's an investment in our community, right, yes. in our future, that's yep. for sure. Takes a village. Absolutely.